There's no place to escape to. This is the last stream. On the left. <laughs> That's when the cannibalism started. So you're saying that what Steven up? Spielberg is saying that aliens are people from the future that are coming back to see what went wrong That's because the Spielberg world said. ended. I, I just don't understand Welcome. because he cut off. He got cut off by the U.S. government. He's not making Close Encounters of the Third Kind anymore. Why are they fucking talking to him about this fucking bullshit? Technically, he gave out the secret. Yeah. Welcome to the stream, everybody. Ben hanging out with Henry and Marcus. It's Marcus's mandate. But before we get to that, what are these aliens? Some people, like Steven Spielberg, believe that they're time-traveling humanoids who are coming back to make to see where it went so wrong. Where it went wrong. He but believes the whatever same- the fuck Entenmann's. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Entenmann's. Big box cake. Uh-huh. Is paying for Spielberg to make his little <laughs> films. Mm-hmm. Oh, where else was go cry about how his parents got divorced? Yeah. Who do I yeah. give a fucking shit? Yeah. Was it Reese's Pieces? Uh, yeah, yeah, it yeah. was. What a in contract the that yeah. was. It was a gigantic deal, and then yeah. and then Reese's Pieces afterwards. Now and then there was a different candy company that made their own weird little monster that they advertised. Yeah, yeah, in, Pieces uh, Reese's Pieces Reese's that they advertised in comic books, and it was a terrifying character that gave me nightmares when I was a child. Oh, also, you know what else I learned? If we're on this topic, Oreo knocked off fucking Hydrox. I know, and no one even knows about Hydrox. That's a uh, thing. The Oreo is the thief, and the people who knocked off Hydrox, and now people look at Hydrox cookies, be like, "Isn't that weird?" Knock off of Oreo. Th- that is the uh, that is a one hill. I will join Kissel standing atop is that is fucking weird. It is. And Hydrox came first. I think it's truly because it's a name thing. Hydrox sounds like something that'll kill you if you eat it. Well, do you want to know why it happened? Why? Was because Oreo went direct to the stores. So Oreo employees would go direct to the stores and place the Oreo on the shelves. The Oreo employees would then put the Oreo snacks in front of the Hydrox, hiding the Hydrox from us. Get your shit together. And that's what we got to do. That's why we got to make sure wherever our fucking podcast is. We've been knocked off a thousand times. But then it's got to go back to the top. We got to send our street team out. And I'm looking at my street team now. What's going on, chat? How are you guys? doing uh yes someone's saying the g- good work for everybody Thank you. um do you think marcus farts on georgie is a question from the oh. chat no georgie farts on me well, georgie I'll has fart horrific on. farts because she's getting that old dog because she's getting around like seven or eight now so yeah she's got old dog stinky farts now that just plop out whenever Cool. Thanks, chat. All right <laughs> Marcus it's your mandate it's, and it, it has been three years so has it been three fucking years since Mark is in a mandate? Well, we stopped in 2020. When did we stop? Been, 2021. Two years. 2022. Yeah, we stopped in 2022. It's been like a, less than a year. It's been a year. <laughs> Whatever. Who cares? What, what is time? It just feels Time's a like we're on an endless a fat circle fucking like an loop. Uh, okay. But, Nonetheless, we're used to cream daddies. Mm-hmm. A whole series of wonderful things. So this week, I'm excited to see what you give to us. Cream Thanks. daddy was mine. Was that yours? Yeah, yeah it was. It was. This is going to be a fun week. Okay. I've got some fun surprises in store. Hey, and this first video, I know that this first video, we're going to have to cut it out for the YouTubers. That's like, we're why we're doing this. We're going to have to do it. But that's what I'm going to say right now Whatever. is that this is what you get when you watch the stream live. Wow. You're not going to know what we're talking about after this video airs. But the rest of you, you get to see the thing that I've been watching once a week for the last month that makes me laugh every time. And I keep showing it to Carolina because I keep – Forgetting that I showed it to her, and she keeps saying like, "Oh, you oh, you've show shown this, you've this shown to me, me this right. And then Why she's like, to you, I, I thought it was going to be different.' Yeah, and then all of a sudden, we're like, should we call the doctor? You're having memory issues. Yeah. Is it an issue yeah, now? Like, are serious? You, There's yeah, a lot yeah, of problems. And you're like, just just yeah. grind this. Hold the goddamn brakes. Just break the goddamn brakes. I just turned forty. Yeah. yeah. So let's watch it. Let's okay. see it. Let's so let's pop it down. Yeah. Mix of Chris Novoselic, <laughs> Kurt Cobain, and Dave Grohl. Are you? I am all three in one. And how is that? Okay, Chris Novoselic, because you're tall. Hair of, uh, of Kurt Cobain, stature of Chris Novoselic, and that fun sense of humor, like Dave Grohl. Mm. Yeah, because when wow. we think about you, we always think like lighthearted. Lighthearted, yeah, and I always. Without a care yeah. in the world. Definitely <laughs> travels easy, like no, ready to be on problem. world that's tour. That's my side. <laughs> yeah, but he used no, to go I on am, world tour. I am lighthearted. I mean, sometimes I'll tell them, dude, I fucking told you that legendary joke that I thought about all week. Mm-hmm. What is a mythical cow drink? Legendary. No, you It did. doesn't mean, yeah, you know, that's also, the t- honestly, that's the kind of joke that an executioner says. <laughs> yeah. That's <laughs> the kind of thing that he and says also, right before what about, he What does. about the video that I've been sending to you, Henry, about the cheese tax? 
that actually came first from Jackie. Yeah. Did and again, it was a dog. I have not heard about the cheese tax. <sighs> All right, let's just look it can up. We, can you do this Marcus, on TikTok? Can, this can we you? find this? Fine, fine. Can we do this? Fine. It's, not a hij- it's not a hijacking. Yeah, it's just, it's just, just, for, a a second. Yeah. just for a second. Just Play like one more hundred. video of yours, Marcus, before this begins. Mm-hmm. Because Are you sure? This is a- I, well, I mean, actually, the next two videos kind of go together. All right, here we go. I mean, we have an hour to fill. <laughs> I don't know how we'll do it. Oh, here we go. No, he's got it. No, we got okay, the yeah, yeah, Oh, my God. Wow, technology. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, it actually just goes. Come. Uh, yes. Just play the Which is the top one? You yes. see the top short one? Original. Run? No, not that one. Not that one. No, not that you one. No. no, it's Puppy Songs. That's the one. No. That's the, Yep, that's just the, the album. The cheese tax, the big one. That's the big uh, one up there? Up, up to the left. Upper left. Up to the 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 no, it's the very. Oh, all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah now we get it out. Now we get it out. We could, but obviously you have. You have memorized the lyrics to that song. When you start a cooking, this puppy come a looking. <laughs> yeah, it's you know it, it's cute and it's also relatable. Yeah, mm. it has helped me. Co- I, yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I, maybe I've sent it to people, being like, maybe I, maybe you should date me, and, and they haven't responded. <laughs> but you know what's nice yeah. about that? That's a good softball like volley, right? Like right. that's a good video because. Unless you and you just going like, why won't you talk to me at three a.m.? Right. That's actually a kind of a healthy three a.m. thing to text. To Send him the, it is. the cheese tax. Yeah, because yeah. I think like, well, it's three a.m. He's not sleeping, but he seems to be having a good time. Nice, because he is what lighthearted. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I'd love to take a look at your blood. Yeah, oh, I want to know. I I want to know. You've never. I, I don't oh, know no, if a doctor has have. a doctor gotten to your blood, dude. Every time I take it, they're always shocked at how healthy I am. Well, they, when was the last time you took it? Two years ago. Really? And actually, even uh, like nine months ago. Nine months ago? Why did you? Why? I just bled on the sidewalk. <laughs> oh, you're just talking about how freely <laughs> you, you bleed. Yeah. You, remember that when I broke both of my arms? I remember last, that. Yeah, you year? did bleed on the sidewalk, but a doctor did not scoop up that blood yeah, and put it through a it. series of tests. I looked at it and I was like, that's the blood that was doing great last year. <laughs> yeah. It's doing great this year. Sometimes you just, you just got to taste yeah, it. Yeah, taste it. Yeah. You know what? Um, oh, is that a good pickup line? I had to get. What, what's your blood type? B fine. God, is that a good thing I mean, I don't think... You guys I, better start marrying me off. Otherwise, like, I'm be. just going to start living with you guys. <laughs> yes, I uh, get... Uh, please, send in your email. SideStoriesLPOTL at gmail.com. Why do you deserve to marry Ben Kissel? Yeah. This is going to be great. I can't wait to comb through this. Why do you deserve a cup of his blood, and why do you deserve to taste it? Right now, also, headphones, 504s, eating pate. Ooh. That's what I'm talking about. That's a fucking party hoardy. You make them arteries hoard, girl. <laughs> I don't yeah, like bitch. Uh, yeah, I'm not a big fan. I don't uh, like any of the liver schmear. I just don't like it. You know I what I do it. love, though? Le- good commercials. I okay. love commercials. I love okay. commercials. I love old commercials. Take this back. Take I love back the fun narrative. commercials. Take the so we're going to watch a few commercials tonight. I got a couple of double shots for you. We're going to go through a few double shots. Double, double, double shot. shot. It's two for Tuesdays, my friend. Oh, wow. It actually is. <laughs> it, it actually is. is. Uh, so we're gonna, first, we're going to go into the world of retail. And we're going to watch a double shot of retail commercials, starting with this commercial from a furniture store. First 30 seconds, pretty standard. Yeah. Then it takes a good turn. Really good. Let's All check right. it out. I can't wait. I'm actually Frankie and Johnny Furniture is having a sale. Right now, you can buy three complete rooms of furniture for only $699 with only $250 down. Just $50 down on select items will put you in a great bedroom set or living room set today with no problem. All senior citizens get a 10% discount. That's Bad big credit hat. or no credit, no problem. Are you on welfare or social security? Are you newlyweds? No problem. Well, Come see us. I say, I say, I say. This is Frankie. Frankie and Johnny's a place that lets you have it with no problem. She's a I like to buy a bedroom set. Do you have any credit? No, I receive Social Security and welfare. You have to see the special man. Let her have it. With no <laughs> All right. <laughs> Let her have it. Wow. 
Do you have any credit? No, I filed bankruptcy. You have to see the special man. Let her out. Let her out. Let her out. I say, I say, see Frankie and Johnny, he's the credit man in town. For only $50 down, he can put you in the living room, set a bedroom, set today. See the special man. I got the $50. Let her out. Let her out. No problem. I got it, I got it. No problem. No problem. And you know. They look so untrustworthy that you can trust them. You really I, can. It's I circle just with people like that. I want to redo. I want to take. Let her out. There's <laughs> an old man with a cigar and a cowboy hat just sitting in the corner going, Let her out. Hey, you know, it, it, that's how you build trust in a community. It yeah. really because is. So if you want to make sure you got the uh, furniture that they're throwing out from the prison and you want it to be given <laughs> to the community and you want yeah. to sell it at a, a nice rate, yeah, good that's, price. you're building Trust. Well, technically, a lot of kindergartens have the same prison uh, as the, have the same furniture as prisons because there's no fabric on them because they're wetting themselves. Oh, I see. And yes, there's also no sharp e prison. It's blood. There's also no sharp edges in which to murder people or to be murdered if you're a child. Yes, I mean, it's exactly. actually it's kind of easy to murder somebody in jail because you just got to run up on them when they're in the wreck, right? Well, it's like gotta, a lot of times you yeah, you got to get caught. you're obviously you're pa you're passing a shoot to somebody, right? Well, you watch they a take YouTube the YouTube video once you know, a you're month, you're taking a tech, yeah. mm -hmm. right? And then mm -hmm. someone's gonna pull their card right because right. that's the key right <laughs> you want to pull their years. card you want to take pull a look over there yeah. and and see what their sheet is the right you look yeah. at it and then you, you're going to check whether or not they're repping or they're repping because if they're repping with the aryan nation okay. and they're repping with okay. the nation of islam two separate countries always at war yeah if but they right there together you, yeah. yeah but, but next Excuse me. Very healthy markets. Mm. Yeah. What if you're uh, not repping anything or anybody? Oh, Good you better. Luck. You're really gonna want to not be an independent contractor in jail. <laughs> Good okay. luck. And you. And again. You're not going to agree with all the speeches the guy you have to talk to, no. like, says. Because I imagine if I'm, you know, we're probably white-collar crime, right? Yeah, We're probably, in there. Yeah. And, but I don't know if we'll have to align with the Aryan Nation. No, they don't want you. For white-collar crime? Mm -hmm. No, no, I don't no. know if we have to. No. no, you have to. That's an actual gang. No, you would be, like, in, like, Gorgle's gang. You'd be, like, part of my crew. <laughs> I'm, I'm Gorgle. And then you would have to do a whole series of different things for him. Like, my, my name's Gorgle, and, yes, you know, you know as a part of our gang, is that what we like to do is we like to blow the man who brings the soap into the shower <laughs> and to make what? sure we have enough soap because I like to get bubbly. <laughs> You're bringing the soap. Oh, isn't that fantastic? Whoa. Isn't that great? Isn't it? Well, let's, I think that's really nice. Yeah, let's finish up this double shot with a little bit of a, it's a word from Goot Choose. Oh, Liv Neely says prisoners make all the furniture in California schools. They do. Great. Cool. Isn't that nice? It's called Whoa. slave labor. That's why, you know, even with ever, whatever you're wearing, we're attached to slavery because of our shoes and things like that. So Always. It is important to remember I that. just got to say, these talented 12-year-olds that made these jakes I have on right now are some of the, they are Oftentimes incredible. Oftentimes they're older than that. Yeah, Oftentimes. nimble fingers. Yes. Let's check out goat shoes. Let's see who makes goat shoes. Goat shoes. Being the hit of the party is fun. Yeah. And it all starts with looking your best. Okay. At Goot Shoes, we'll help with our famous Goot. brands, Red Cross, Cobbies, and Socialites. Here's the perfect way to start your social world with yeah. our TV shoe of the week, the Festive from Socialites. That's a goo. I like shoe that shoe. I love the festive. That's a festive ass goo. It's got colors. bone. It's Camel. just one of many from our fashion collection. As for the Festive, our TV shoe of or the, the week bone. this week at Goot Shoes. Get that goo. <laughs> Valley locations. What I understand is that I know Goot must sell. It's, I mean, it's hard to say over and over again. Goot, goot, um, goot. No, but goot I wonder if goot, um, goot, goot, scoot, boogie is boot, the boot, goot, goot. Yeah. But it feels like the goot is short. <laughs> it's boot mixed with gunk. Conk and boot. <laughs> you guys were correct, by the way. This is strawberry and lime spin uh -huh. drift. It's not good. Not a good. Well, combo. it's because uh -huh. also you're drinking because we know Kissel likes his drink slurry. And yeah. the, I saw him because you know what it was is that due to the incursion of wives into this studio, we have an overabundance of spendrift. Spendrift. And those of you that don't know what fucking spendrift is. Why is it a female thing? It is tart. I love spendrift. I think yeah. it's disgusting. I love Why? it. It's fine. It's tart. It's just together. It's, it's strawberry lime. Yeah, and it's I tried to not. Make it. A, it doesn't meld with other things because mm. it's just tastes like lime battery acid <laughs> like it tastes like a, it tastes like a lime that died in a the holocaust ghost it's like, not that bad it's, it's like someone just i can't even really tell the difference between this and your other your other seltzered beverages well, it's because the we try this spendrift alone it's not very good it's it's like the goot of seltzers <laughs> dude I that shoe it. looked awesome it did it's the festive you can and also get it in bone yeah you can get them bone ivory patent leather all sorts of shit and i'll jam i will slam and jam 
a spin drift. I mean, I, I, good for you. I mean, you uh, know what? I know it takes all kinds, and we're three people for a reason. Isn't it sad when you have a nice pair of shoes, though, and no one recognizes it? I walked into oh, yes. a bar that I go to uh, the other day, and the guy said, hey, you're wearing shoes today. <laughs> What? Like, yeah, he said, oh, you were, today we weren't shoes what, today. like you were a fucking wandering drifter? It's because I've just been wearing my sandals. That's why I keep oh. on getting cold because it's, it's winter. Well, my question I is, I mean, is it's that... California winter, but it is uh. nippy. I mean, yeah, it has been nippy. I mean, that's very normal for California. Said, oh, well, why is he, well, you're wearing shoes today? No, why well, is he looking wearing... at your feet? Well, I didn't know that he was even recognizing that I hadn't been wearing shoes. So how does he see your legs over the bar? No, he's the bouncer. Oh, he's the bouncer. Yeah. Oh, so I guess he would be checking your shoes because I shoes. bet you if you weren't six foot seven, you wouldn't be allowed in. Yeah, probably. Yeah. And, and, and yeah, because if you spend so much money, I guess you hit a certain level of Bud Light. Bars. Yeah, yeah. Well, now you're a Michelob. You're a Michelob Ultra. No, I'm a Bud Light Lime guy because Bud Light Lime yes. did. Uh, see? Yes, they, yes. They acknowledged yes. us. Did you see that? They yes. did. This is Twitter. what I've been saying. And, and they did say legendary, but they said legendary. And do you think that was in response to my great joke? Quite possibly, it was in response to your great joke. Quite possibly. Bring in. The goddamn Bud Light Lime money. Bring you need in. to suck it It's gotta it be better than this fucking spin drip. We need you drinking strawberry. Bud Light Lime on fucking camera. I will. All right? Because then I finally win. I finally also, win. Also, if Bud Light really wants to hold true to the narrative, I was drinking margarita Bud Light, which is why I said it tastes like a margarita in a can, and somehow you perverted that into Bud Light Lime. Well, Sounds I like mean, another... they're very similar. <sighs> they both are, it's both Bud Lights flavored with lime. Both of them. No, margarita is not flavored with lime. It was strawberry margarita. You would uh, the lime is not the flavor. The lime would be a small and the whole chat's ornament. blowing up on it. Of course, because he finally said it. Yeah, they're all like, yes. All it takes is pushing and pushing and pushing money. and pushing and pushing and money. And yes. once money gets in the very end, that seems to be sort of the big old kicker. This is but serious up radio. Then, I need money for this. No, you, serious radio. You make. I, let's just talk about how much <laughs> money Kissel makes for his radio show. Mm -hmm. It's huge. Yeah, I don't make any money. I. I have to drive there and then today I almost got into a car accident on the way there and back which would have cost me a lot of money yeah um I do it for the love yeah do it for the love so you don't even get gas money no I get nothing they're uh, laying everybody off and Ed Nagin I did manifest this awesome <laughs> yeah I did by, fucking manifest. by manifest that we've talked about this before is that if you just say a lie over and over and over again and someone else acquiesces to that lie that does not necessarily mean that you have manifested that's that show lie. business baby mm -hmm. it really and is all exactly. I mean, pew, pew, pew. It means you just oh. wore someone down mm -hmm. no I mean yeah that's again that's show business show you business. make them do something that they're vaguely uncomfortable with doing mm -hmm. because you hope that it'll give them the attention that their void craves mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. then you win an Oscar 20 years later and you cry that's mm -hmm. what you do you were supposed to make it to that point yeah that was right? the thing with I should have so sucked dick. Them, the yeah. head of fucking comedy of Fox. I should have sucked his fucking dick. I know. Yeah. But now I know, day. as an older man, I know I should have crammed all that pride down, mm. and I should have got out of my fucking. Because so I didn't care that, about is, my girlfriend at the time. Is no. that your nickname for his dick? <laughs> pride. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Marcus, it's your mandate. Let's oh, see another well, video yeah. here while Henry crams down his pride. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. hmm. Come. <laughs> oh. Guess who's back? Keanu Reeves. <laughs> I am him. Oh, this is you. I am him from the film. You know me. I am him from the film that you like. I am him. Keanu. I like this. This is obviously this man's project. Oh, yes. Very much so. And but in many ways, didn't Keanu create a monster with his with his work? A bit. Yes. A bit. Yeah, that guy's name is, I think his name is Hollywood Mike, I oh, believe. Oh, he's in the business. Yeah. No, his name's Mr. Magic, the handsome magician. Whoa, and, better than all those ugly magicians. And he makes those videos with what I assume is a wife or long-term girlfriend. Oh. Hey, man, it's I bet unclear. you that guy's, he looks like a girlfriend guy. They seem to have found, <laughs> let's, let's say they seem to have found each other in their 50s. You know oh, what? They have fun kind of together, nice. you know? What do you think that's going to be like Being for our wives? Being when, we're being dead, when we're dead <laughs> and they're living a fun single life. In the in what do you the think 50s, it's yeah. going to be like getting railed out by a bunch of other guys in a retirement home? <laughs> yeah, after we die. They're in not going to uh, go to the murder. retirement home in the 50s, guys. They have like half their no, life. Yeah, but no, because they've already done it all. <laughs> yeah, why would they, they want to go live <laughs> they've been all the way life. from Disneyland? To jo Jim Jones's grave, <laughs> your wives have done it all. <laughs> they really have. They really have. But you date fast. 
After 50, it really seems like once if you're dating, you got to be get fucking married in there, man. You really I do. really don't think you understand the trauma that goes into dating after 50. Someone's dead. But no, it's like, you know, you would see some like 90 year old who's like, I got a little girlfriend. And I don't know if yeah. it's just because it's the woman he pesters where he volunteers. Yeah. Or if it's like, or there is some random ass 70 no, year old who's hot to you. Yeah. Who's shoving around so. sucking all these 90 year olds dicks. Yeah. Who's got to be the fucking greatest. It's woman in the about, world. And it's not about physical attraction. It's about shared memories. It is. I remember when the milkman would come by, you know, and, and then they could talk about segregation and stuff. <laughs> my my uh, grandmother, she would always supply every uh, one of these people, when, the guys with gin. With gin. She well, would give them all gin. She didn't drink, but she'd get all no, the guys No, we know. Drunk. Yeah, try to, to get him to go and to, she to, to did. get yeah. it on they her snitch. To, they went to bone. They tried town. to get that goot. Yeah, go to town on that um, goot. Someone says here their, uh, their great-great-grandpa was the prince of magicians. The Prince of Magicians. Well, you know what? Let's actually see one more video Please. from Mr. Magic, the handsome magici magician. Uh, Fernando, it's number 11. Um, okay. let's, and let's see how much fun these two have together. And you tell me whether this is wife or long-term girlfriend. Oh, it's George Milieu. It's Excelsior. It's the name. It's the Prince of Magicians. You know what? Wow. George Milieu. The yeah, from Star Film Company. And wow, there's he starred in a movie in 1901 called The Magician and the Human Pump. Oh, Wait George, a second. Oh, it's you're talking about Georges Malier? Georges Malier! My a, God, oh. he's a, uh, he's amazing. I went to his grave at Le Père Chasse. You went to a, his fucking grave? Yeah, I went he to his said, grave. I love his stuff. You, you went to this great, great grand person's grave? He did a trip to the moon. He's like one of the pioneers of film. He's like oh, the first, no, yeah, no. first I, special effects guy. I think that, moon. no, I'm saying some other guy who died way less impressive than that. <laughs> What do you mean? He went to the moon? <laughs> they, Did no, he coined the term Excelsior? You no, know, it's the guy you talk about as the guy that they parody in the Smashing Pumpkins video. Yeah, Georges Melier. I think the guy that they're talking about some other piece of shit. Is fucking, I'm sorry. I'm sorry about some your other, grandfather. Some other French magician? I thought Stan yeah. Lee created the, the word Excelsior. He didn't create the word Excelsior. No, he, did, he mainstreamed it. No, it, it's That's what he was so good at doing. It's the motto of the state of New York. It's on all of the license plates. Excelsior. Well, it is not working out. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's crazy. Yeah. He really did. I, it was you know, it was interesting. I think of Stanley as an as just a nice old man. I was watching some woman was all completely 70s. wrong. The woman was completely wrong. She said no, that wasn't that wasn't the magician. That she just backpedaled entirely. She pulled it all out. Pull it all out. Yeah, Holy it fucking shit! But that's I can fine. see if you watch the interviews with him in the seventies, I could see how he could be a schmuck. He was a huge schmuck mm -hmm. for many different reasons. But he was so funny in all the little cameos that I, that's what yeah, I saw. He was well. He was a, a doddering old man by that point. Right. right. He didn't have to work. Exactly. That's the dream. Yeah. Let's see this video. A lot going Wife on here. Or boy. Come. Okay, your lips look your like lips shots. Look like shit. Oh, get out of here. Let's try okay, it, please. Try it again. Is your blood type B for fun? <laughs> oh, very nice. Catch more flies with honey. <laughs> <laughs> see, I agree with that. I'm just wondering why little Joker is down there trying to get what is that a yen? Uh, that must be a very tricky spot for the Joker to be. It really is. He just seems to be backpedaling and going, not really moving forward at all. You know, I um, find uh, you know that this is a video that he sent his kids, uh -huh. and he was like, "Look what I've done. Um, I stopped working at the missile factory." <laughs> oh yeah, this and guy's now, got Northrop Grumman money written all uh, over and him. And now he's sitting and he's making fun videos with his wife, illicit wife. girlfriend, uh, the wife. You think wife? Well, yeah. Also, I think, can we go? Can I'm we thinking, take this back, Fernando, and play it one more time? Let's. You want to play this clues. again? Yes, because I want to look at her hand and his hand for a ring. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there is no ring on the right hand. It, well, it's that on the left, left hand. hand. Oh, he's you were on the left hand. Well, see, I, I think wouldn't know. he's wearing. Left hand. That's what I'm saying. Oh, man. that's yeah. too tough. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. We need more footage. Stop it right as, as, as it's doesn't... extended out. It's no, tough it doesn't look like no, because he it would be. Above the knuckle. It would and be above know, the knuckle oh, wait, unless no, it's a tip is, ring. He is wearing it. I can see it. He is definitely wearing it. He could be married to somebody dad. else and he's cheating. No, on that's his wife not allowed. <laughs> they have starred in hundreds of videos yeah, together. I, lo I adore this man's YouTube channel. Um, and we will definitely be seeing more of him well, there in are a future couple. mandates. Hey, man. The, nothing gets my goot like a handsome goddamn magician. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and I don't know. Why is he a magician, though? He's handsome. Yes, but why? A magician. He didn't, yeah, Jenny, he didn't Kissel, he Kissel is hard up. He's trying to have sex with that woman who hopefully is still alive. Yeah. She's alive. He didn't make his wife disappear. Well, I don't know how old those videos are. Oh, they're been, very new. He that, made that like two weeks ago. Oh, great, 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 great. But still, someone can really slide downhill very fast. That's what Murdaugh yeah. should have done there in the South Carolina on the stand. I just made my wife disappear as being a magician. Illegal? 
You see how you see that? You're right. That is how you do it. Or you should follow OJ's advice and not have gotten on the stand. <laughs> what's wrong with Alex? What's wrong with his lips? Uh, he's oh, got um, right. he's inbred. Yeah, they're ah, all inbred. He's dude. just that yeah. comes from cousins fucking each other. It makes so you look pissed. like your mouth looks like a parenthesis. I'm so pissed they have red fucking hair. I really because well, they have they, ugly they, red hair. It's yeah, that gene. Not, unless you have a red hair, like it's fine. But like my hair used to be much brighter, but now it's it's a little bit. But it's you still are, red. But as we get older, it's because our shine's dampening. Mm. Yeah, but maybe. It's like, but ginger, it, the ginger's a weird thing. And I'll show again. I've said this before, and I'll say it again. I'm not a ginger because my bush hair is fucking brown. No, all right. One of the top it is, is brown as a as a as a. But you do. I have strawberry blonde hair, but again, this, this is what, if I was a fucking ginger, uh -huh. this yeah. would be bright red. Yeah. Right? No, and then I would also, the I'd have red hair on my feet. No, you And the hair on my butt would be red. Look at a, look up a ginger man's butt. Ginger look man's butt. Please, well, Fernando. Um, can we look up a ginger man's butt? Because I want you to show, because again, my butt uh -huh. is Fucking, I might as well be a Shetland pony. Harry it's ginger man butt, please. Harry ginger man butt. Yeah, it has to be right. Harry, yeah. yeah. Look at well, this. You don't have, all, like, it's just hair comes with it. These are all shaved. No, yes. But look at look at how... Well, the, I, I mean, nipples. I, but, no, but this is a gen... Yeah, this is... Oh, this, my goodness. Uh, that's a, there's a... Fun, and with the corgi. corgi is a Can we corgi stop? Butt. Why is there a corgi but in the center of this Because they're trying to have sex with these corgis. We talked about it on Side Stories today. Stop sexualizing the corgi. Uh-huh. Yeah, well, what's, um, where's the butts? The one, yeah. You can see them. I mean, like, Evolution explains why we still have butt hair. Yeah, of course we have butt hair. It's incredible you know, on a warm man. Up, warm up incredible. the hole. That's what you're saying. You're going with incredible. You're saying that having butt hair is incredible. Can you imagine uh, what my butt would look like? Hairless. But honestly, who is in charge of Google Images? <laughs> we don't get to a butt until like image 30. Yeah, where's the butt? It's right there. It's a side butt. That, so it looks like he's just smiling. Maybe put more, maybe a filthier term. What the term. fuck is going on with related maybe content? Maybe put Tukas? I don't. Is Tukas filthier? I swear to God, Google, it's just, what are, what are we even doing here? Maybe what? try Bing. Try Bing. I don't want to try Bing. <laughs> we might want to try Bing. No, Please, Bing try is Bing. Like, if you want to kill your child, you can still Bing search how to do it on Bing. Not, I just got to see. This. Harry, Ginger. This is not say, even Will You Shouldn't Turn Off the Stream. Harry, My fucking mandate's next week. Perhaps we can also try Harry, Ginger, Oh, they anus. give you women. Interesting. Well, I'm down with and the woman. And on Google, Fernando did not clarify male or female. They just went work with the male. But then Hot, ha, Harry, Bing, Ginger, but, they're giving you the gal. But they're still showing that woman's hair. I mean, I've, we're all over the place here. This, mm -hmm. We're really just in different territory. He's got a big butt. That other guy, they're all got that big butts. That one guy fronts. just has a rash. <laughs> that one guy has a rash. He's Unbelievable. Wanna... Can we go to Ask Jeeves? <laughs> no, no, no. Let's no, go to no. Ask Jeeves. No, ask Jeeves, what does a ginger good. man's oh. butt look like? Yeah. Yours. I yeah, am yeah. not a ginger. Do I have to show my butt? No. Do you have uh, hair on your butt We cheeks? know. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Because I only know. got hair in the crack. I got it all over. And it's black as night. <sighs> yes. Very proud. Very proud of Ash you. Ask Jeeves. Okay. It's I can't believe com. this website still exists. What even is this? Uh, the they, top have, they have editorial features? Harry ginger yeah, butt. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's a whole thing. We have Why a, are we raspberries, raspberries Harry? Harry? You know that we're going to be... They don't even have... We're pitching to Ask Jeeves next week. Just, <laughs> week, just so you know. Oh, I was like, he didn't ask Jeeves a question. He... Gave Jeeves a Harry no, Ginger it Butt. It doesn't make any sense because <laughs> it's the wrong way. It's just not. It's a declarative sentence. All right. Marcus, can why I don't see? We... Okay, yeah. Why okay, yeah. We're. Yeah, we we're don't need the weeds. To... We're yeah. the butt weeds. We Maybe it's the this. algorithm. Maybe it's because that's a work computer. Yeah, which is nice. It's which... nice. Good work, Fernando. Shows you haven't been jerking off at work. Yeah, it shows. Because oh, okay. I put well, in Harry Ginger even... Man's butt, and the first thing it says is Harry Ginger Ass Gay Porn. Yeah. Um, ginger yeah, Ass. Look at images. Harry Ginger you Ass. Images. Gym, Your images. Like, are look be the at same. this. All right, so it's the yeah. exact same images. Whoa, yeah. weird. I guess it's because I've never looked that up. It's because you searched the exact same. Shows thing. I'm not gay. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> the fact. The fact. Yeah. Okay. Well. <laughs> Uh, well, this next couple of videos, these were actually produced by the same guy who did Goot Shoes. Oh. Uh, but he also, in addition to making commercial... Oh, yeah. That's not... That's not <laughs> Thank ginger. Thank you, though. Henry. That's very good. That's yes. not ginger. It's red That was red guys, guys <laughs> eating each other's yeah. buttholes. <laughs> well, here's the, uh, this one. Oh, that's yep. hairless. Okay. I've seen that yeah. before. Really? Well, well that's mm. not... All right. That's not a ginger. All right. I don't know why we're doing all... See? Uh, red to is, be fair, it has Red zero, as... Right? Pollyanna. Oh, that's his yeah. penis that's red. Oh, no one right. can see well, this. Literally. Wow. I, I can can see everyone's, uh, everyone has the internet. Uh, everyone's well, seen every butthole that's ever existed. That has existed. really ruined my little algorithm. <laughs> yeah, please. Now you just have an excuse for why that's all over your websites. No. So this guy, Ray Naughty Lindstrom. Boy. 
Ray Lindstrom was, of course, an advertising executive for quite a while in Arizona. He made mm. many commercials, such as Goot Shoes. That was the name of one of the biggest pieces of shit that I went to high school with. Ray, uh... Nah, that's a different first name, but Lindstrom, yeah. Lindstrom, Very yeah. mean person. Yeah, I think I he's a loser see. now. Well, this guy, Ray Lindstrom, he became known in the 90s as Mr. Infomercial. But before he made the <gasps> first infomercial... That's Lori Grenier! Mr. Infomercial? Mrs. Infomercial from Shark Tank. Uh huh. Did Lori. we just accidentally step into the one area of knowledge that Kissel is deep? Lori that is the first time I've ever him pull pull out like an actual like like a name that's not political because I know you're into yeah. your politics shit, but it's like no, that. No, Lori thing. is political. She made Scrub. She brought Scrub Daddy to the world. No, oh, that's great. And but now they also have Scrub Mommy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. kind of weird. Then they have like weird. Scrub Kid. Yeah, I mean, like stop uh, having them. Now I know Scrub Daddy and Scrub Mommy have fucked and made <laughs> Scrub children. And but does that mean that someone was like, ugh, I hate men. I'm not going to buy a scrub daddy. I'll buy a scrub mommy. I'll buy a scrub mommy and then vice versa? I don't know what a scrub daddy is. Oh, I'll show okay. you. It's a sponge. Well, you look up the scrub daddy. In the meantime, this guy, Ray, he also, before he went into infomercials, he was one of the pioneers of the 900 number. Oh. And Ray made a lot of very bizarre, yeah, that's a sponge uh, with a face on it. It's so a sponge. Fucking great job. It's a sponge with a face. It's a sponge with a face on it. It looks like just like it just it's a little like bit more than a face on it. It's Dude, a fucking sponge. It's smiling and it's kind of a, got a personality. It's got a personality. So this guy, he made all kinds of wonderful 900 commercials. So let's watch some of those stranger 900 commercials that Ray made. Excellent. Simpler time. You're going to love this. The stuff. seance is soon to begin. Oh, looks Everybody is around real. the table, but there's one empty place. Oh, this I is remember your this chair. We'd like you to come and join us. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> Call this number and be a part of the group. Wow. Isn't there somebody you'd like to talk to? That's from your awesome. Wait, did they put a head? Call now and join Madam Ava's phone seance. Just a dollar ninety-five per minute for entertainment only. Under eighteen, get permission. I just want to place at the table for you. Oh, call this is now. cool. It is Speak cool. To the past. I just want to hear the guy who called in thinking it was a jerk offline, <laughs> and then by like fifty minutes in and like five. Does the name later, Marissa like, mean anything to you? Yeah, she a big answer. No, she died in the in the slavery, American slavery. I mean, the Underground Railroad, she died. This isn't a sex <laughs> line, huh? <laughs> well, I know she's saying right now, yes, yes, yeah. she's touching herself. <laughs> she's touching herself. She's well, looking at Harriet Tubman right now. Yes, that's a whole Her other. and Harriet are, she are removing each other's frocks and their yes. weird doily hats. <laughs> oh, yes. Other. Ooh, she's working her way down south just like Harriet did in order to bring them back yes. north to that's... freedom. Now they're having, ooh, yeah, the scissor freedom. Uh -huh. each that's not butt the Underground to butt. Railroad. Dude. That's the Underground <laughs> Gravel Pit. Goo! Uh, have fun with it. But, Mike, if we go just back for one second, Second, yeah. Fernando, at the end of the video, I have a small issue. All right. Because it seems as if they're not opening the circle for the deceased. Mm -hmm. it, it, it's they, shouldn't they open, shouldn't their hands be there for the ghost to grab? That's for you. That's yeah, for you. That's, that's for, for you the to call. Sit down. But I would imagine that I actually don't think that that's the right method, though. I mean, Roy Lindstrom knew what he was doing. I would imagine he did both a shot joining hands and mm -hmm. a shot not joining hands. And I would imagine they couldn't make the shot without joining hands look right. Oh, yeah. yeah. I bet you they tried okay. to hover for a while. Mm -hmm. They're like, pretend like there's somebody there. <laughs> oh, they probably whoa, did that for whoa. a while. And yeah. then you could see their hands wavering. He's like, I can see you fucking low rent Romani looking woman. <laughs> I see what you're doing there. I need you to just, all right, just hold his hand and put a wig on him. And these are all, by the way, these are all local Phoenix people. All the people that started Dude. Ray's commercials were all local Phoenix people. Other than the two bars that I'm boycotting, in the Bottle Blonde and uh, Hi-Fi, mm -hmm. Phoenix has some of the most beautiful women you will ever see in your entire life. And it's also got some of the witchiest type characteristics. Three universities around there near mm -hmm. Sedona. Yeah, right near wow, Sedona. So you, wow, that's a big... That's I'm a telling big you, old, Phoenix like, is a You're weird... saying that Phoenix has some of the hottest women in America? Truly it does. Well, I, I guess, I that, I, honestly... especially during the summertime. <laughs> Temperature-wise. Especially if you... Uh, Shoot a bunch of them in the head and pile them up in the desert and set them on fire. Yeah, mm, yeah, just... that would no. Truly, uh, I don't know why, but they just have some of the most beautiful women in the world. I don't know why. I, don't know I why mean, you, maybe that's where your third life is. Nah, I think I'm still looking. I was looking at this one house in the middle of the woods, but then uh, what uh, state? It is in North Carolina, but then everyone's like, "Oh, you're gonna die alone." Mm. And, uh, mm. That's a possibility. But yes, Bart, was that when you die alone? 
You don't have to hear all that. Exactly. You don't hear going like, nah, where's my will? Nah, you farted in hospice. You all, you go, you're in hospice now. Blah, yep. blah, blah. Yep. I'm not going to do hospice no matter what. Really? I'm going down. You're going down in the house. You're ruining the house as badly as you can. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not doing my house. I, I like that's your hard line. I'm not, I'm not doing hospice. Not. <laughs> no matter what. I don't care. I don't care. Send Harriet Tubbins goes down well, here yeah. to show me her butthole. I am not going into hospice. I got another 41 years because I'm going to die at 82. And then I, Marcus I bet- parks my car, says dying alone is low key nice. Looking nice. <laughs> real key, real nice. Don't dying alone. You know, I bet it, it's peaceful alone. at the very least. I it's think that it's quiet. Yeah, peaceful. Peaceful. Well, maybe not pe- quiet. Yeah, peaceful and quiet are not the same thing. You're very correct. We've no, also man. heard so many stories about people who work in nursing homes and hospice homes, and there's a lot of bad nurses out there, and they they're mean. Mm-hmm. You just they're, think they're I'm just. Where are my pipes? So Where's you my fucking. They're mean to you. Can so, I not play the flutes? So here? you would Do rather you have access to my flutes here? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, yeah. no. You're good. Well, you know what? You've talked about end of life, and Ben, I would imagine we all know that. Our wonderful furry friends aren't going to make it to the end of our life. Don't fucking do this. <laughs> Don't do this, Marcus. They're just not. Don't I do mean, this. What are we about to go? What is this going to be? <laughs> They're just not going to make it. I mean, oh, God. I can't. We have to face this fact. Yeah. We but, had a call on open lines yesterday, about, and she said a dog c- crawled into a bag, of, a bag of potato chips and suffocated. <laughs> I just can't. <laughs> well, I was like, that's kind oh, of a dog. God. I love dogs, but it's like, yeah. you got to get out of God, the bag yeah. of chips. But. But obviously, we're not going to do well grieving it. We're not going to no. get over it. Oh, we're God, absolutely I not. I, John Hopkins, I want to die like I live, scared and naked, hiding from my uncle. <laughs> That's fun. That's a fun. <laughs> That's fun. But, so we're not going to get over it. We're not really going to be able to grieve it. We're not even going to be able to accept it. So what do yeah. we do? I don't know. All Replace I know the dog immediately. I hate, and one of my least favorite sentences is, just remember, your dog is around for a part of your life, but you're there for all of theirs. Yeah. No, but this isn't fun. Yeah, it's not fun. That's not a, uh, that's not a comforting thought. We're going to keep Wendy alive way longer than she needs to. I mean, you yeah. can just shock her. And, like, yeah. a, you know what they do with fish? Yeah. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at another 900 number. It might help us with our problem. Okay. okay. No way is this a scam for... Cute little dog you've got there. But hold on. In a previous life, he could have been George Washington. (laughs) Nice cat. Perhaps Annie Oakley? And look at him. Why, it's Napoleon. No! Incarnation. What human being was your pet in a previous lifetime? (laughs) It's the same guy! I will tell you when you call this number. Just answer simple questions with your touch-tone phone. $1.95 per minute for entertainment only. Under 18, get permission. What? Call now. Learn Learn who who your pet was as a human in a previous lifetime? lifetime. (laughs) I I don't even understand. I don't think reincarnation works like that. I forgot what the show. I forgot what the commercial was. I thought it was like talk to your pet from beyond the grave. No, it's pet reincarnation. That's pet seeing who your pet was in a past life. And that guy, E. David Smith. I tried looking him up, and I only found that other people have also tried looking up who this guy was. And there's absolutely nothing on this on the internet about E. David Smith. What? We have no idea. Oh yeah, Mm. I mean this like he was in two of these seance commercials. I wonder. I don't know. He must be the guy. That must be the producer, the actor. Yeah. I bet you that actor is one of the producers on the film. I also got a good, on the the commercial, I also got a good one here that someone said, this is from Chelsea. I I saw this. I what would be. My mom had a trim, my mom had a trimp, chimp that did tricks, but then it flipped wrong and hung itself to death. (laughs) Oh, that's okay. fucking crazy, Chelsea. All right, well, there the you go. The living fuck. <laughs> that, I, I, I wonder, Maybe, yeah, who uh, would, so now we do the customary. Sure, sure, sure. All right, who's fucking Hustin. Georgie? Mm, who's Georgie? Someone who died in the Holocaust. Very scared, yeah. Yeah, Very really scared. traumatized. Just not... <laughs> Sad. Not really trusted. <laughs> any anybody. traumatic experience. Very traumatic. Any, any, any traumatic experience. <laughs> yes, it doesn't. Very, it very could be anything for Georgia, but something where they are visibly, constantly reliving it every day. Visibly, yeah. Is yeah. Jean uh, Gabor still alive? No. No, but no. I could see. I could see. Uh, Wendy being close a Zsa to a Zsa. Zsa. Sure. I, I think Wendy was born before Jaja died. So like Wendy's probably like eight. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I'd say Wendy mm-hmm. is. I feel like Zsa Zsa Gabor died five years ago. You know, Farrah Fawcett. <laughs> oh, that could be good. That's. I mean, mm, no, I feel like I would give a more. She'd have a more sexy energy. 
I mean, this guy isn't dead, but Butterbean. Remember the heavyweight boxer? Yeah, Butterbean. He's kind of like puffing because he looks cute, but if you get too close, oh, he'll punch All you right. real hard. I think Butterbean's dead. Zha- Butterbean is very yeah. much alive. Yeah, Zsa Zsa Gabor died in 2016. Ah, so, sad. Seriously, though, I think she was almost 100. Yeah. She was another one of those people. She was one of the first people that was like, what, what, she was one of those like proto like influencers because mm, she was yeah. kind of famous for doing nothing. Yeah, famous for being famous. And then she slapped that cop. Yeah. Yeah, that was funny. And then she was a naked gun. Oh, yeah. So As Zsa Zsa Gabor. And slapped another cop. That's yeah. right. It's that funny bit because it was a callback to what she did in real life. It was a life. funny bit, yeah. And then Jerry is probably, um, ooh, maybe. Mm, uh, soupy Sales. Soupy Whoa, Sales. Whoa, Soupy Sales. Yeah. You know, I see him. Speaking of scams on television, he used to, he got in big trouble. Mm-hmm. He would tell oh, no, kids no, to no, give yes. a bunch of money. Yes, yeah. it was awesome. It was a great idea. It was great. It was great idea for television. Oh. Jerry always running away. Why would it be Jerry? Somebody out of pocket. Yeah. Somebody it's really out psychopath. of control. Like total mm. psychopath. Hitler. <laughs> yeah. Out of pocket. <laughs> yeah, Jerry's a little Hitler. More of a Mussolini. Could be. Because Mussolini had a bit of a sense of humor, and Jerry's kind of funny. He is kind of funny, although mm. Mussolini didn't run. Um, we'll think about it. We'll More think to come. about it. We'll think about Hezbollah's it. Hezbollah is still alive, too. Someone just says something. Oh, Hezbollah has been crushing it. He's so funny. Hezbollah. Is he the, the little, 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 the little guy? I, would, I introduced you guys yeah. to Hezbollah. Yeah. Yeah, he's, Hezbollah. He's, he's, he's been doing good. Apparently, he doesn't like people like, like, he doesn't like being put up for fights. Yeah, he's a person. Yeah. He's yeah, but he's, man he's like a fun like, guy. Yeah, but that's, you want to just, you want to do like dwarf dart, dart toss. I feel that you in life. You want to do something that's like. Like Which the is Rock, fine if you want to do that. Like the Rock that. used but to Hezbollah say, "Hezbollah is weak. Know your role, <laughs> right?" Hezbollah <laughs> is the size of a loaf of, loaf of bread, mm-hmm. and he fights professional. No, he's and funny. that's what he does. Yeah, Hezbollah right? do a lot of other stuff. But wasn't there also? But didn't Hezbollah and another little person? They tried to fight, but then they made up because they didn't want to fight. They didn't want to fight, fight because they, they forced them to fight, which is horrible. Yeah. But I feel like what we should do then is have a super big guy fight him. No, that would be horrible. No, but then you fall, you stage it so like Hezbollah is winning. Yeah. yeah. And he's grabbing on his dick and balls. And he's just like, oh, my gosh. Yeah. My God, my God, my God. Like, that is right, the thing. Trying Everyone's... to like knock him off, like having to hit him with like a broom and shit. With yeah. that new slap fight show, which is really just, again, a bunch of people with really late onset CTE. And it's really devastating. because I'd not, crush Hezbollah, by the way. I would fight yes, Hezbollah would. and I would yes. win. Yes, he's 48 pounds. But back in the day, like I think even twelve years ago, remember when we were doing like little people versus an elephant? I do. I actually that. think that we're doing. I think we've always been bad. You know, uh, was it little people ver- like? But they were both trying to pull planes, right? They were trying to. Pull they were fighting each other. Remember also that one dude who turned out to be like a sexual predator who was supposed to be a millionaire, and he says, "Who wants to marry a millionaire?" Joe Millionaire. Yeah, Joe, Joe Millionaire. No, it was just who wants to marry a millionaire? Joe Millionaire actually ran a construction company. Yeah. But then he was also a piece of shit. But then they tried to the first show ever. It was a comedian that was a failure. Was he? Was and he wasn't Joe, a millionaire. Was Joe Millionaire a bad man? I don't think Joe. I, I think know. Joe Millionaire was just misrepresented, obviously, because <laughs> uh, no. that was the core of the bit. Well, yeah. I think that they didn't think that the millionaire was going to be working in construction. I thought he was no. going. They well, thought he was going to be like Justin. He also wasn't a millionaire. No, well, that, was, that the was the whole ruse. That was the whole ruse. Yeah, it was. It was quite manipulative. So I like it. It's nice for people to be fooled. You're on television. Welcome to show business. <laughs> well, I mean, you that's got the fucking, question. You get joke juke just like mm. the rest of us. Well, uh-huh. you know how difficult it is out there to date. You two, well into your uh, six, oh, seven yeah. year relationship. Oh now, yeah, no, eight? we well, are so like we are. We might as well be on guys we. Bought. How do you yeah. tell? Yep. How do you tell someone that you would like to court that you have money? Um, you because do you know subtle. I was watching something and these these ladies are like you got to have two hundred and fifty k a month or I'm not going to date you now I'm not trying to get with someone like that yeah. but how do you tell them be like I can afford Ubers well what I say you do is <laughs> do what that guy a ninety day did was it ninety day but mm-hmm. all what you do is you go pick people. her up and what you do is buy a beater. Buy a piece of oh, shit. You're talking I'm just about that guy. That guy was. I don't oh. need to buy a piece of shit. No, but buy a piece of shit. Pick her up at the airport, yeah, right? And she airport. says, "Like, oh, thank you for bringing me to this country." <laughs> right? Yeah. First then, of all, try, meet no. her in Trinidad and Tobago. Yes, yes, misrepresent yes, yes. yourself you as much more up. successful than you are, you, and then yes, then you take her to a shitty little house. You go and you buy, you rent a, a fake house, right? And you put stuff in there. Actually, he took her to the house that he grew up grew up in that was still shitty, but he wanted to doubly manipulate. her. So see she could how see how she would react. Yes, and then you go in there. Woman that would uh, w- be willing to be with someone like that. No, because the idea is then the next day you take her to your mansion mm-hmm. and you're like, see, we're we weren't poor, but if you didn't run away in the night, 
That's how you know that you can stay with her. Yeah. Or you can also, if she does not react well to living in a terrible house, even though you told her that she was going to be living in a nice house, if she does not react well to that, then you can hold that over her head for the rest of the time. I would together. react well to that. Also, you no. could dress in fence your clothes. No, because that's the whole thing. Well, the idea is like this. Well, people, you guys don't know. This cardigan costs three thousand dollars. Three thousand dollars. <laughs> and then these, yeah, this sweat Cedo brand pant. Hundred and fifty dollars. Almost a hundred and fifty dollars. But I'm saving money. I'm not wearing underwear. You see, that's how he does it. But then he does, he does end up losing money because he's gonna have to fucking burn those pants <laughs> yeah. in a, a nuclear oh, waste well, that, silo. That, that is funny. But I have, when you don't wear underwear, you realize why underwear exists. Yeah. Oh yeah. Lord, it's well, good to be in the. They have a little separation between. And also, just straight up, Andrew just says, "Just get a sugar daddy app." Yeah. You no, can do no, that. no. I don't want that. Yeah. I don't want. The that. goal is she should also yeah. have by money. The way, there's not yeah, one that's fucking the donut, not one croissant. I got the sugar daddy app, and it was trash. Gissel, <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, uh, and the like humor God. department might need some work as well, just <laughs> from the dating <laughs> aspect. <laughs> uh, you really what will are you have talking to. About? I'm selling them, sending well, this cheese video everywhere. Well, speaking of dating, then. I want you to watch this video. Uh, it's possible. It is possible. I wish yeah. I could. He do brings the voice. a lot to the yeah. friendship. But you're, you know, you're single right now. You're spending a lot of time in self-reflection. It's up for debate, but yes, it is <laughs> great. You know, it's half performative, half not. Of course, but you know, it's let's. You're going to be spending some time alone. You're going to be in reflective moments. I'm always alone. You may even have the urge to write a poem. You could to have no, some true self reflection. Look inside. Look journal for a second. Do your free pages. Yeah. And this man yeah. that we're about to watch, he has written a poem. It goes seated in an office, yet no knowledge, as everything goes in the same circle. No squares or triangles, but would it really help to produce a genuine smile? Uh, day after day. But how to change? I don't know. So much paper on a desk, but there is no true knowledge. Don't know. Don't know. No. Rivers flowing down stream. But aren't trout going upstream? <laughs> well, actually, again, close to introspection. Yeah, yes. close to introspection. But after you've written that poem, Ben, whatever that poem may be about, about you got to know what to do with that poem. And this man is going to tell you what not to do with that poem. Okay. okay. Do not make love to your poem. Oh, okay. The act of fornication will most likely kill that poem. What? what? Oh my! Oh, okay, no. but I don't. Heart uh, thrusting. Okay. Oh, okay. well, this well, is just. Well, this is where the internet comes in. <laughs> that poem. I think that's important. You, honestly, this is what you're doing with your creative writing so degrees, anyway. So, if you want quick coitus, <sighs> use your hands. Yep. Use your hands. Use buddy. your hands. How would you even have sex with the poem you without using your, your hands? <gasps> You well, stick your dick on it. Yeah. yeah and it's also great. just what happens with that. And I feel like that's kind of an allegory just for art in general. It is. Don't, Don't have, have sex, sex with, with your, your art. Poem. Yeah. Well, just the idea that it's not <coughs> good for sex. Yeah. 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 Having yeah. sex with your work and treating your work as if it's your entire life mm -hmm. and all that. Well, no, it's just more like, what do you get out of it in the very end? Absolutely nothing. You might as well just masturbate. Yep. Interesting. Yeah. yeah. I know the guy who uh, is the cinematography now for Tushy. Tushy. Oh, yeah, yeah. you've brought up this good. guy a lot. I like, yeah, I like Tushy. Yeah, well, I like you Tushy. can't look at it when you know the guy who's behind the camera. You see, so I can all. because I don't care about... It no, was when I met Tommy Pistol. Are. With Tommy yeah. Pistol, then I had to get rid of all the stuff. Well, yeah, I can't watch I, the Tommy Pistol scenes. Bad, There's bad, something bad. even worse. Like, I think I could do it with the person who's on camera because we know gals of the adult uh, you know, uh, yeah. genre and, yes. uh, and work profession. But when you know It's funny, though. I have no problem with that. But Tommy Pistol, I did, yeah. Yeah. I understand that, yeah. Well, I mean, we met the people who uh, ran kink.com, and I had absolutely no problem watching their stuff. Oh, yeah, no, of course. Yeah, they were very nice. I w I, we were supposed to get a tour of the, the studio. Yeah, in San Francisco. If I want to go. If you would see yeah. the photographer, cinematographer, it would change it. Mm -hmm. Okay, the cinematographer <laughs> would change it. Well, Why, though? Because I want to know how it's their eyes that you're now looking through. And once you know them personally, then you're like in their brain. That's weird. Dude, hmm. it's weird. That's very esoteric. It yeah. is, but I understand what you're saying. Yes. I guess so, yeah. but, but I mean, it's I'm the not cameras. Assume. They know when to cut. They it's, know all this stuff. Yeah, Yeah, of course. Huh, interesting. What does he say it smells like? Did a lot. It's human. <laughs> a lot of it's, it's humanity. Like it's yeah. musk humanity. and oils and yeah. just, you know, whatever lube smells like. You've yeah. been to sex parties. 
Yeah, yeah I have. Yeah, I no. certainly have. Um, it wasn't so much of an enclosed type space. It no, was in you a don't big, get that. It was e- you were either in the warehouse or you were on top of, on the roof in the tents. You see, and, that's cool. But you yeah. also weren't under hot studio lights. No, right. not it at all. It was it was actually a chilly December night. Um, yeah, yeah, it was interesting. Uh, let's good. move on uh, <laughs> to let's move on to uh, something in uh, the sexual realm. We're gonna stay in the sexual realm uh, to possibly the most infamous of 900 numbers, the phone sex. Oh, okay. Oh. I think we're gonna get a little oh. ribald. We might get a little ribald here. Okay. So let's check out the phone. And this is, by the way, this is the same guy who did the seance commercials and the same guy who did goot shoes. Oh, same guy. This is the same guy. Oh, wow. He, he contains all- multitudes. He truly Also, does. boner check. I did not get hard talking about our conversation. I hope not. No. I hope not. Let's see if you get hard watching this. Okay. I really hope it's good luck. Ah, the magical world of dreams. Incredible <laughs> fantasies dance through our heads. Okay. Women's private dreams. Call and listen to us describe our real and unreal oh, dreams. dreams. Some are romantic and warm. Others are exciting and playful. From the romantic to the bizarre, there are very own personal women's private dreams. Nice. Call this number and listen in. $1.95 a minute. Call now. We've got special dreams we'd like to share. Well, isn't that nice? Yeah. I had a dream last night. I was wrestling Brock Lesnar and Seth Rollins. Wow. Wow. Yes. And then today, if I found out some information, I might be seeing WrestleMania live. Yeah, wow. look at it. I manifested it. You did it. That's great. Um, so, this is what, so that is just a, so it says about dreams, and it said from romantic to bizarre. bizarre. So you could potentially call this line right. for like a dollar ninety-five and get one of those, hi, <laughs> yes, I had a dream. That I was in my elementary school classroom, but yeah. I was my age now. Right. But I was naked, <laughs> except for the fact that I had to take a test. Mm-hmm. And I was very nervous about the fact that my I wasn't ready for my test. Right. I guess it still works. And then next thing you know, Ronald McDonald came in. Wow. Right, that's, that's right. That's had, crazy. Uh, he, he took down his pants. I uh-huh. figured, I was like, well, we're fucked. Right. We're going to fuck. We're going to suck, right? Yeah, yeah. But then he takes down his pants. Mm-hmm. And the next thing I know, where his penis should be, right. it's a butt. It's, it's, it's a butt. butt. And I'm that's like, is this guy. a reverse clown Ronald McDonald butt penis, right, man? Right. And then the next thing I know... Uh-huh. I'm on the Starship Enterprise. You are. That's wow. I am. That's, ma'am, it's a dollar fifty a minute. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, this is the most boring masturbation sense. Wow, like, that's, like, that's crazy. The thing. Like, that's like you just gonna get into that world where you're losing teeth and yeah. shit. Well, yeah, I, I th- guess so. I had a dream f- last night that if uh, there was a certain group that was trying to convince me to to say a certain phrase, and if I said that phrase, then I would disappear out of existence forever. What was the phrase? Uh, I can't remember, but I do remember that I did say the phrase and I did disappear out of existence, but I was still aware of being floating in, you know, some sort of ether that was you neither. Weren't dead. Yeah, I yeah wasn't what was dead. the phrase? I wasn't dead. I can't remember. What was you don't remember anything of the phrase? Yeah, I don't remember anything of the yeah. phrase. I remember I think that Mary, the, Mary be Poppins fucking, poops a quarter. The word will, I think, was in there. But now you I'm afraid if I do if think do of the phrase say, and if I say disappear. it right now, I will disappear and then That's I'll It's a get, good boy polar thought to really fixate on. <laughs> Yeah. That's a good thing to really nail yeah. down and yeah, really yeah. get to the I'm, bottom I'm of. I'm really thinking about ramping one up soon. You know what I you know yeah, what I'm gonna do is idea. my yeah. main thing is what I want to do after all this fucking blood pressure fucking garbage, right? Uh-huh. Cold turkey, all medication. Hell yeah! Just fucking no let else. the Take wheel hit the rail, yeah, dude. Once, no cushioning, man. Man, once those withdrawals are over, we're gonna get wild. Yeah, like, dude. We're gonna, yeah, it's gonna yeah, be dude. a while. I bet you yeah. like fuck for days. Oh yeah. But they'd man. sometimes be crying on a bridge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's a lot of bridge time. Wow. Yeah. A You're lot of fucking time, on a bridge. A lot of time alone in a car driving. That's uh, it's been. That's a lot of bipolar time. Is Whoa. Alone in a car. And the best driving. part about California now is that we got day trips and. Any direction. That's true. That's you can true. really do whatever you want, and then, and then just, it's so nice that you would be on the highway during a massive manic bipolar episode. Yeah, That's and I just scream and I'd yeah. scream and I'd scream like I did in the old days, just screaming in the car by myself. Yeah. Yeah. Hey man, That's nice. Yeah. Hey man, I guess this is growing up. Yeah. <laughs> you get to go right back to doing it. <laughs> yeah, That's get right back. Let's stay in the world of sexual. Oh, phone oh I love calls. that. And uh, this one gets a little more ribald and a little tough. It's just so to jerk off back then. By the way, I, I highly recommend going into the call hard mm-hmm. because it's going to take you three minutes just to get aroused, and that is what six bucks right there. That's, yeah, that's a dollar ninety-five. Three minutes to get hard. No, well, it depends how good they are. Again, if they're talking about teeth falling out in their dreams. Yeah. Well, yeah, but then you're just masturbating on the phone. 
Also, you know what you mean? You're all, not masturbating to anything. You're just on the phone. Yeah. All yeah. people, all the women look like me, but they sound very beautiful. That's the idea. It's for the fantasy. Yeah. I would agree that, you know, if you're getting on the phone, like you want to take yourself right up to the point. You're gonna, yeah, and then you call. You're, you're going to want like a minute and a half left. Absolutely. You want her to get to it. All right. Let's see what this one will get you to. People are asking what music did you listen to in your car broadcast? <laughs> um, let's see here. Uh, there was a, a certain spiritualized album that I would listen to a lot. Spiritualized. Uh, yeah. Can was... you listen to any of that music anymore? Does no. it haunt you? No, no, no. There's a, yeah. It's, I could listen to the stuff that I listened to like coming out of it. Like the soft bulletin helped me to come out of it. Uh, at least uh, that was when I was getting on the other side. Yeah. Uh, but... That was always a good post-trip song. Yeah, a good I'll, album. A good yeah. Al- yeah, yeah. But it was there was also a, a lot of uh, just silence and the screaming and silence and the screaming. And there was... A lot of that. Cool. Um, mm-hmm. And, you mm-hmm. know, you don't really think about you're the so music You're so mysterious, and you're moments. just so fucking sexy. Very sexy. You. You're just Very so mysterious. Sexy. It's so cool to have mental illness. It's, yeah. I mean, it's I so cool. love it. I mean, it's I really ill. I enjoy it's just, it. Yeah, like, it's I, ill. I, it's I illmatic. It. I enjoy it so much. Yeah, I it's, it. it's an ill communication. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting. Let's go. Wow. <laughs> the truth about street girls. Oh. Shocking real stories from society's Get out of the right words. Go. I'm here. I'm going to stay here. This is how I make my money. Call now and listen to how <laughs> they got <laughs> their I'm going to stay here. For survival in the streets, I've had to do anything. Have you eat a pine cone? It's all real, <laughs> all true. The streets is tough, but so am I. Yeah, I got hit by a car once. I only broke my legs and I dragged myself with my forearm down to the gas station. And I still blew a guy. <laughs> See, look what they do there. They do the fire minute minimum yeah well i think this is one of the later um this is one of the later commercials after yeah. he figured out that people are taking it right up to the edge and then just calling just to scooch yeah just to go thing, boot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, boot yeah. But, if you, but if you get a five minute minimum then you know you're gonna at least get five bucks out of it you can't yeah. be nickel and diamond you um, gotta do it a, a saw buck at a time well, headphones 504 yep, headphones 504 is asking what does based means it means being cool to stupid people on the internet. <laughs> Based. <laughs> yes, yeah. indeed. All right. What do we have here, Marcus? Well, this last thing, this can kind of, this can actually take us out. This would take us out. We, we still got, we, we got some airtime. Yeah, we do got, we got four minutes left. Yeah. What? Yeah, we got wow. four minutes left. So why don't you vamp for two minutes? Let's go for it. <laughs> Well, I'll tell this you one about thing. two minutes. Left, I was so, at I was at Olive you know, just Garden. Just vamp for two minutes. I went just to go watch my friend Tyler yeah. Bateman wrestle, and I went to Olive Garden. And I have to say this, and you know, I don't usually criticize. Mm-hmm. He never. But my God, that was some of the worst food I've ever had in my life. Yeah. Have you ever had Olive Garden? Olive Garden, yeah. It's very bad. Many years ago. I don't know what happened to it. Was it ever yeah. good? No. Uh, well, I think it's comparative. You know, like when oh. you're growing. When you're growing up in Wisconsin or, say, Lubbock, right, Texas, it's quite nice. No, um, I never had an Olive Garden yeah? growing up. We had really? Applebee's. Wow. And Applebee's makes Olive Garden seem like, I mean. I preferred Olive Garden to Applebee's. Uh, you got to check it out again. Okay. Their well, breadsticks are worse than Fazoli's, which is a limited run Italian restaurant. I mean, I did. I mean, that's the thing. I did live in New York City for 16 years. So my taste of, you know, my Italian food tastes have risen oh, over yeah. the years. Yeah. Dude, there's yeah. some good Italian spots around here, though. I bet. I mean, I actually was eating at this place the other day that was pretty great. I can't remember the name of it, but I'll look up on my door. You don't want to get stalked yeah, you really by don't, the paparazzi. Yeah. Leave Bruce Willis alone, by the way, please, paparazzi. Please do. He's really going through a hard time, and good you're not Lord. helping. All right, I've so, all right, long enough. Let's get back to this video. The other week, well, last week, I believe, <laughs> uh, we, we've only done one of these so far, so it's going to be last Two. week. Two. This is the second one. This is the third one. This is, is the it? third one. <sighs> yeah, man. <laughs> hey, man, we're just getting back. That's why I felt like yeah. when he said literally that it's been two years since the last, I thought, it was like, Maybe. oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. No, it's been like 11 months. Yeah, it's been 11 months. It just uh, happens in Yeah, things happen. A lot of things happen. Uh, so we visited a Bigfoot convention in Pennsylvania, uh, but we didn't really get into what it's like on the ground for Pennsylvania Bigfoot Bigfoot. Ooh. It's true. It, got, it was huge. I remember we ta- in our when we covered it in the episode, we yeah. talked about the police had got so many the inundated mm-hmm. with irate yeah. Pennsylvania Bigfoot ciders. Quite Ooh. so. That reminded me of the word interbulate. Yeah, it, it really did. But on that episode, we did play a small clip of one Pennsylvanian making fun of another Pennsylvanian for being scared of Bigfoot. <laughs> yeah. Well, it is like very similar to Texas. Each region of Pennsylvania has a region reason to make fun of the other region. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So let's see the entire news segment on Bigfoot 
that is centered around one big fat asshole making fun of another. Okay, could the legend asshole. of Bigfoot now have ties to Carbondale? Never huh. a question in my mind. You have to wonder, oh, considering what you. people no, are talking thinking, about these days no, in the Pioneer wasn't. City. Newswatch 16's you. Josh Brogadier joins us Josh from the Brogadier. newsroom with Fuck this you. story. Josh. Scott and Marisa, there are believers out there, people who say they've seen and heard uh. something that's just not quite right. Coming from a creature my fucking in the woods in Lackawanna County. It came in as an email here at Newswatch 16. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yep. Of, quote, Fascinating. Some sort of animal, about six to seven feet tall, hmm. covered in all white fur. Very okay. similar. I wonder what I mentioned. It. A wooded area in Carbondale near a mine reclamation site. Oh, it's not enough. Uh, not wood. able to resist. We went enough. to find out. You know anything about this? You know about this? You know about this? You know about this? Why are you got? Why are you asking this you construction worker? Why are you doing Talk this? Talk was about an albino black bear or Bigfoot. Yeti, anyone? Very the Summit things. Garden apartment complex borders those woods. Oh, it's that was our next way stop. too populated. Maybe a albino black bear or, or Bigfoot or have you seen it? No, I haven't. Have no, you seen no. my husband? <laughs> I've seen one or two bear through here. Yeah, yeah that cool. But not white furry bears. No, no. Fascinating. We decided to go looking for the creature. What are you fucking? People have built their whole careers looking for Bigfoot. I'm very nervous. But quiet as we were, we may have been on the wrong track. She was thrilled. This creature wanders the woods at night. He only ever ready to give up. Dude, they're just lucky that they're not in their Ukraine. You know what I mean? Because then he pushed her into like one of the. Getting that on camera was not easy. Why? You go back in the woods, you see animals in the woods. That guy plays a. We did this in the episode. Let me try to jog your memory a little bit. Damn, you better get up here. There's something up in the woods. We don't know where it is. Nobody, you don't remember that? That was the that we covered that. When we did that for when we did our in our video, that's the actual news. Wow. Well, for the past few years, and now this. My brother was running his dogs back there. Something jumped the out, of the, that? out of the out of the bushes. They, 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 they huh? said it was a maybe yep, a deer. he is built like a ooh, streamlined cop. Right? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's a guy right there, right on the front lines. So the mystery he's just making sure he's safe. Yeah. All right. Also, Josh on the Bigfoot beat live. Yep. Josh Brogadier. You can also see him in the principal role. Uh, as a reporter in the movie Patriots Day. Patriots Whoa, Day. Whoa, he was, was in Patriots Day. He was Day. in Patriots Day. What was Patriots Day? <laughs> a day that you should fucking know about I, as a God fearing American. American. Yeah. All right, everyone. Thank you wow. for watching. We'll be back next Tuesday. We're going to be back next Hail Tuesday. Yourselves. It's Henry's mandate. It's my mandate. If you're in the Los Angeles area, not for the replay people, but come out to Classy Night Out tomorrow. I got me and Great. Ed Larson, a bunch so of really, people. We, you have exactly, this, you're plugging this for three Yeah. Writers. Okay. I'm new. That's hey, how it is, gets done. What's the date? The the eighth? March eighth. March eighth. That's tomorrow. It's in ten tomorrow. hours. It's ten hours, but it's yeah. for everybody that's in the.